This is non-calculator question number two from the March 2019 SAT. If you have not already tried this problem, please pause the video for a moment while you work through the problem and then come back to hear my explanation. In this problem, we're given an equation, t equals 1,000 plus 18h, where t is Brittany's total take-home pay for her first week of work, h is her number of hours, and 1,000 is a sign-on bonus. If her total take-home pay is 1576, they want you to find H. So I'm going to take the equation T equals 1000 plus 18H, and I'm going to substitute in $1,576 for T. Subtract 1000 from both sides. And I get 576 equals 18h. I can either divide both sides by 18, which I don't really like dividing three-digit numbers by 18, or I can use estimation. If a were 20, 20 times 18 would be 360. So 16 is too small because 360 is too small. If h were 30, 30 times 18 would be about 540, so that's really, really close. If h were 50, a little less than this, 50 times 18 is 900. That's too big, and of course 80 is too big and 50 is too big. So let's check that one out. I'm saying it's probably 32. 18 times 32 is 2 times 8 is 16. 3 times 8 is 24. 576. That does work, so the correct answer is B. I think that's a little easier than doing it. Divide both sides by 18, so H equals 576 over 18. Eighteen goes into fifty-seven. It takes a little while to figure out that's a three. And that's fifty-four. 18 goes into 36 twice. That's not terrible, but if the arithmetic is hard, it's much better to use estimation. That's what estimation is for. College Board often asks questions where they want you to solve a linear equation. I have not yet filmed other videos on this, but when I do, I'll post a link to that playlist in the comments for this video. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.